We're going to be talking today about the drought. You know, it uh, it's not just about outdoor water conservation that we need to be concentrating on, but also indoors as well. Elizabeth, thank you for being with us. Elizabeth Simmons is from the Take Care of Texas Initiative from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. How can people maximize their indoor watering? Yeah, so there are several easy ways to conserve water inside of your home. A really great way to start is checking all of your toilets and faucets for leaks. These may seem minor, but the average household's leaks can waste up to 10,000 gallons of water each year. Um, you can also conserve by running your dishwasher and washing machine only when you have full loads. And as always, try to shorten your showers and don't leave the faucet running while doing activities like brushing your teeth. Now let's go outside. What are some of the drought tolerant plants and grasses that people could be using to be more efficient in their outdoor watering? Yeah, so the important thing is to look for native Texas plants. These plants are more tolerant of stressful environmental conditions like drought and are adapted to our conditions. So just a few examples of these native plants are things like yucca, lantana, turk's cap, and the Texas mountain laurel. Now, one of the things that drives me crazy, and perhaps it does a few other people too, is when you're driving around on a hot summer day and you see watering going on. So let us help our viewers maximize their outdoor watering. What are the best times for homeowners and gardeners to water their yards? Yeah, so the best time to water your yard is in the morning before 10 a.m. You can also water in the late evening hours. You want to avoid watering anytime midday as most of the water can be lost to evaporation rather than soaking into your landscape. Of course, it's always important to follow any restrictions or guidelines that your water provider has in place about watering days and times. Anything else that I might have forgotten that you'd like to add to this very important subject? Um, you know, all Texans can help conserve water. And even when we aren't in a drought, it's important to keep water conservation in mind year round. So you can visit our website, takecareoftexas.org, for a variety of helpful conservation tips and resources. Elizabeth, thank you very much for being with us today. We appreciate your time and the information that you just gave us. Thank you. Thank you.